So I don't want to be touched when I'm in labor. So that's why my husband's just sitting there. Anyways, hope y'all enjoy this. <laughs> so I tried to do a water birth with my first baby, but I did not like it and I missed it. Like my husband was filling it up too slow. And I just realized that I like giving birth just naturally. Like I don't want to be in water. I just want to be in a cozy little space. It usually ends up being in my bathroom. And that's just where I love giving birth at. I don't know why. It's like I'm like a little cat in a corner. You know, cats run and hide and give birth. And that's exactly what I do. So right here, I'm just checking to see if she's coming down. And you see a little bit of blood on the tissue, which means her head was coming down. And I was definitely in labor right here. I'm like, oh my God, like she's really about to come. And I'm having the worst contractions at this point. So it's good to stay hydrated while you're giving birth so I can have energy. So that was my husband bringing me some coconut water. He's the sweetest ever. I'm so thankful for him. But yeah, my water is about to break at this point. And you can see it kind of breaking a little while after he gave me that coconut water. My actual water broke. And I was trying to call for him and let him know that my water had broke, but I was in so much pain that I couldn't even yell out to get his attention. So I think he eventually heard and saw and checked and was like talking to the midwife like, oh shoot, it is time. Like our baby is coming for sure. <laughs> I know this looks mad uncomfortable for me, but y'all, whenever I'm in pain, I go to the bathroom. Like it could be any kind of pain, like a toothache, upset stomach. Like I love laying on the bathroom floor. <laughs> So I know this position is so awkward to give birth in, but I literally had no more energy. I could not get up, y'all. And he was telling me to turn on my side and get on my knees, but I was like, I can't. I have to give birth just like this. So the midwife arrived, but she was still allowing my husband just to do his thing. He said he wanted to catch the baby and she allowed him to catch the baby which I love about that's what I love about midwives like whatever you want in your birth they really honor that and there she goes she popped right on out y'all and he caught her he was on a weird position on his knees so he was like here let me hand her to you so I could get off of my knees and there she goes rubbing the baby's back and you know I'm just still here in pain and agony but it's a beautiful moment <laughs> yeah. so graphic as you can see if you uh, have a weak stomach don't watch this part she's going to deliver the placenta which is like delivering a whole nother baby just not as bad <laughs> the relief is so real when the placenta comes out i had so much joy in this moment y'all like i was looking at her she had huge pink lips i don't know why and she came out so hungry like she was smacking like, mommy, give me some milk. I am ready to eat right now. And the midwife was saying that she had never seen anything like that before. <laughs> and here she is getting my stuff ready for after the baby's here. And she's out in here and they're checking everything to make sure she's okay. And my heart is just so full in this moment. You know, like, look at her little mouth. I don't hear about it.
so right now she's just weighing the baby she ended up weighing 6.9 pounds guys <laughs> in that video um born at home i'm so happy that i was able to give birth to her at home um i've heard so many horror stories of women giving birth in hospitals and it just not going the way that they wanted it to go my birth went exactly how i wanted to go the only thing that didn't go the way that i actually wanted to go was i was laying on my side but that's just what happens when you're giving birth. Like, you don't know what exactly is going to happen. But all I know was I wanted to have my baby at home. And I did that for the third time. It was successful. And you can do it too. It doesn't necessarily have to, you don't necessarily have to give birth at home like I did. Um, but you can give birth at a, um, what is it called? Uh, a birthing center yeah you can give birth at a birthing center and um, it's the same thing you know except they're not trying to push narcotics and c-sections on you and stirrups and all these things that just are unnecessary that may harm you or harm your baby um, but it was such a privilege just to be able to give birth to my little baby girl um, at home and I take pride in that. Like I want women to do their research and study. If you are thinking about doing a home birth, I would say go for it. Go ahead and do it. Like you got this. Um, it is not easy. It takes work. You really have to take care of your body. Make sure that you are eating healthy. Make sure that you are walking every day. Um, but you can do this just like I did. This is my third home, home birth with this little baby girl right here. She's now four months old. Um, so yeah, it was a success. Um, I would say if you can do a home birth and if you wanna have a home birth, I say do it. Why I recorded it was to show women that you can give birth naturally. You can do it. If you put your mind to it and you really focus and know that you were designed and created to do this then you can rock your birth we are told so many times that we can't do this and that we have to get c-sections and that we're high risk you're only high risk if you don't do the things that you need to do like eating healthy taking care of yourself you know not just sitting on the couch eating pizza and donuts you know I mean yes that's fine in moderation but I wouldn't say be doing that all the time when you're pregnant like you really have to prepare for this everybody doesn't spread that message that you can have your baby vaginally I want women to know and be empowered and know that giving birth is literally what we do like we've been doing it for centuries i remember one of my midwives told me if you tied 10 women to a tree nine out of 10 of those women would give birth naturally on that tree and if you just think about it like that it makes so much sense like why are we having so many emergency c-sections i really don't understand it now do i think c-sections are necessary sometimes yes absolutely i think that there are situations that can happen to where you do need to go in for an emergency c-sections but i hear it so many times like i'll just women will start talking about birth and they'll be like yeah my plan was to give birth naturally but i had to have emergency c-section and then i'll ask them why and they'll be like well my my uh, pelvis wasn't big enough or the baby's head was too big or they said that i was going to have a rupture and like all different kinds of stories to where I'm like okay I understand that but it doesn't mean that you had to hurry up and go for an emergency c-section if you have watched this video up until this far I thank you so much y'all it's been a pleasure talking to y'all happy that y'all watched the video if you have any questions you can hit me up in the comment section but I thank y'all for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel. All right, y'all. Peace. I'm out. Bye.